Welcome back to my channel Math School. In today's video, let us see the revision for chapter 10 quadratic equations and also the important formulas that will be useful for you guys to solve multiple choice questions appearing in this year's final exams that is July 2021. Do like the video and subscribe to my channel so that I can make more such videos for you guys. Revision for chapter 10 quadratic equation. So first of all, let us see what are quadratic equations. A quadratic equation in the variable x is an equation of the form ax square plus bx plus c equal to 0 where a, b, c are real numbers and a that is the coefficient of x square is not equal to 0. Equation whose highest degree is 2, quad means 2. An equation in variable x in the form of ax square plus bx plus c equal to 0 is called as a quadratic equation. The coefficient of x square that is a, coefficient of x is b and the constants c are real numbers where a should not be equal to 0. If a is equal to 0, even this x square term will be equal to 0 and it will become a linear equation whose degree will be 1. For a quadratic equation, the highest degree should always be 2, only then it is said to be a quadratic equation. So this statement is very much important. So these are some of the examples of a quadratic equation. Here you can observe that the highest degree of x is 2 in each case. Only when highest degree of x is 2, we can say that it is a quadratic equation. Now let us see the solution of a quadratic equation or how the roots of a quadratic equation can be found out. That is the x value here in the quadratic equation, how it can be found out. There are three methods basically. The first one is the factorization method. Second is the completing the square method. And the third is by using the quadratic formula. Here the factorization method and completing the square method is a lengthy process. So since in this year of exams you have only MCQ questions. So these two methods you don't have to study to find out a solution for quadratic equation. Most probably by using a quadratic formula you can find out the roots in a minute or two. So most probably this method can be used to find out solution for a quadratic equation or the roots of a quadratic equation. So this is the quadratic formula which is given by x is equal to minus b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac divided by 2a. So given a quadratic equation in the form of ax square plus bx plus c equal to 0, here you can substitute the values of a, b and c in the quadratic formula and you can find out the roots for the given quadratic equation or that will be the solution for a given quadratic equation. So this is the quadratic formula which you have to remember to find out the roots of a given quadratic equation. The second topic is the nature of the roots. Again, this is very much important topic which can be asked in your multiple choice questions. So the roots of a quadratic equation ax square plus bx plus c equal to 0 are given by that is the quadratic formula we will use to find out the roots of a given quadratic equation that is x is equal to minus b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac divided by 2a. Here b square minus 4ac determines whether the quadratic equation has real roots or not. Therefore, in this formula b square minus 4ac is called as the discriminant of this quadratic equation. So, depending on this value of discriminant, we will find out the nature of roots that is the roots are real, equal or if they are imaginary roots. So now let us see the different type of nature of roots which we are going to obtain depending upon the value of b square minus 4ac. So for a given quadratic equation ax square plus bx plus equal to 0, if we obtain two distinct roots then b square minus 4ac will be greater than 0. For any given quadratic equation, we have to first find out the value of b square minus 4ac. If this value of b square minus 4ac is greater than 0, then you are going to obtain two distinct real roots. Distinct means two different real roots you are going to obtain. That is x is equal to minus b by 2a plus square root of b square minus 4ac by 2a and x is equal to minus b by 2a minus of square root of b square minus 4ac by 2a. The quadratic formula that is minus b plus or minus square root of 
b square minus 4ac divided by 2a. So, this quadratic formula is split once we are taking the plus sign and for second root we are taking the minus sign, right? So, when the value of b square minus 4ac is greater than 0, we are going to obtain two distinct or different real roots. The second condition is two equal roots. So, when are we going to get two equal roots? If b square minus 4ac is equal to 0, then you will obtain two equal or same roots. That is, the first root will also be same and the second root will also be same. That is, minus b by 2a and minus b by 2a. Similarly, the third condition is no real roots. We are not going to obtain any roots in this condition where b square minus 4ac is less than 0. There will be no real roots for the given quadratic equation in this case. So, here let us take an example of a quadratic equation that is 2x square minus 3x plus 1 equal to 0, right? So, comparing with the standard form of a quadratic equation, what is the coefficient of x square? a value is equal to 2. Coefficient of x that is b is equal to minus 3 and the constant c is equal to 1. So, here in this case, let us find out the value of b square minus 4ac. Then we will come to know the nature of roots. Discriminant is equal equal to b square minus 4ac where b square will be minus 3 the whole square minus 4 into a value is 2 into c is 1. So, this will be minus 3 the whole square will be 9 because minus into minus will become plus and 3 square is 9 minus 4 into 2 into 1 is 8. So, therefore, we will get b square minus 4ac as equal to 1 which is greater than 0. So, when it is greater than 0, we will obtain 2 distinct real roots, right? So, in this manner, we can find out the nature of roots. Now, you can find out the roots by applying this formula directly. So, therefore, let us find out the roots. x is equal to the first root is minus b by 2a. So, b value is minus 3 by 2 into a is 2 plus what is b square minus 4ac we got? b square minus 4ac we got as 1. So, it is square root of 1 divided by 2 into a that is again 2 into 2. So, this will be minus 2 minus will be plus 3 by 2 2 is a 4 plus what is square root of 1? Square root of 1 is nothing but 1 itself divided by 2 2 is a 4. So, since the denominator is same that is 4, we can add the numerator also. So, 3 plus 1 will be 4 divided by 4 or cancelling. So, the first root is 1. Similarly, you can find out the second root by using this formula now. So, it is again minus b by 2a that is minus of minus 3 by 2 into 2, 2 into 2 minus square root of 1 by 2 into 2. So, this will be 3 by 4 minus root of 1 is 1 divided by 4. So, since again the denominators are same, we can subtract the numerator. So, 3 minus 1 will be 2 by 4. So, 2 1 times 2 2 times. The second root is 1 by 2. So, here we got two distinct or different real roots. The numbers are real here, right? That is the first root is 1 and the second root is 1 by 2. So, in this manner, we can find out the nature of roots and also we can determine the roots. Here, I have used the formula separately by taking plus sign to find out the first root and taking minus sign in the second root. You can directly apply this quadratic formula to find out both the roots as well. So, I'll show you how to find out by using this quadratic formula. So, let us apply the quadratic formulas to the same quadratic equation that is 2x square minus 3x plus 1 equal to 0. So, quadratic formula is minus b. So, minus of b is minus 3. So, that will be minus 3 divided by plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac. So, b square minus 4ac we got as equal to 1. So, that will be square root of 1 divided by 2a. So, 2 into a is again 2 equal to. So, here minus into minus will become plus 3 plus or minus square root of 1 is 1 divided by 2 to the 4. So, here we got 3 plus or minus 1 by 4. So, the first root we can take plus sign that is 3 plus 1 by 4 and for second root we can take minus sign that is 3 minus 1 by 4. So, x is equal to 3 plus 1 will be 4. So, 4 by 4 will be 
1 and here 3 minus 1 will be 2 so 2 by 4 will be 1 by 2 right so here this is how we can find out the roots by using the quadratic formula and here i showed you how to find out the nature of the roots when you know the nature of the roots you can find out the roots as well by using this given formulas so these are the important things that you must know to solve the mcq questions from the chapter 10 quadratic equation so in my next video i'll be taking up the mcqs from chapter 10 quadratic equation so till then if you like my video do like share and subscribe to my channel and also don't forget to hit that bell button to get the latest updates of my videos as i'll be uploading mcqs and revision of all the chapters from class 10th slc and sort math for your july exam thank you